All right, and we're back. So we left off basically creating a blank view controller. Um, we created the class for sign up view controller. Um, now we're just going to get this all wired up so they can type in um, fields and actually hit submit and, and sign up. So, okay, we're going to blaze through this. So just stick with me. Um, and again, two videos ago, I covered the basics of auto layout and how to make constraints. Um, you'll get to see it in action. I uh, just had a little faster speed. So we're going to want three text fields. Um, let's do just basic email, username, and password. So I'm going to constrain this to the top, vertical spacing to the top layout guide, center, horizontal, and container. And then I'm actually going to make, um, let's just define width instead of doing uh, to the edges. So I'm going to go to the pin inspector, and I'm going to do width of, Let's do 200 and height of 50. Cool. That looks, that looks all right. Um, so we have that. So that's going to be email. I'm going to hit option, click on it to duplicate it. And we're going to make three fields. And you see the red lines? That's because that's Xcode telling us that it, we're missing constraints, basically. Um, and you never want to like ship um, or even build, really, with with the red lines, we want to get those figured out because uh, they won't know how to lay out your view. So, okay, let's make this um, centered horizontally, horizontally to the top um, text field, and then also set the vertical spacing. Same thing here. Cool. Um, so, email, username, password, and then we're going to want a submit button. Submit. And we're not going to make this fancy yet, um, but let's just get it there. Oops, I didn't add any constraints and updated frames, and that's why it's went away. So center horizontally <clears throat> and vertical spacing. Cool. Um, sweet. So let's let's actually make the background of this view orange and make this white just to pop. For now. Cool. So we have these three text fields in the submit. Um, now we're going to wire these up to our view controller. So we have sign up view controller. We're already connected. That's good. Um, let's do sign up. Sorry. Let's do email text field. Username text field. And password text field and submit button. So these are actually um, just outlets to these elements. Um, we don't have any actions like we did um, in the first view. Uh, remember when we did IB actions here? You can see these ones. Um, but these are just outlets up top so you can reference them uh, but the submit button we're going to want an action so let's do submit action again all I'm doing is control dragging from the element to the class um, and specifically I'm in the dot m so okay we have access to our three text fields and we have a submit action so really um, what we want to do on submit is take all this information and upload it to Firebase um, I'm going to show you just what that's going to look like, um, collecting all the information, combining it, and then actually sending it. But we're going to hold off on connecting Firebase for now um, so we can just continue to kind of move through the interface and we'll get Firebase set up um, in a little bit. So I'm, I'm actually going to create an NS dictionary, which is just, um, it's just values and keys. So um, very similar to like JavaScript. Uh, objects or, or arrays, uh, it's kind of similar concept. So I'm going to do NS dictionary um, and let's do, let's call this sign up params. And then that's going to equal, I'm also going to switch into um, full width mode. What's this? Oh, okay. All right, perfect. So switch me to the file I need to be on, which is signupviewcontrol.m. So signupparams equals 
NS dictionary, alloc init. So that just admits um, or initializes uh, this variable basically. And then I want to do sign up params equals, and this is shorthand um, for making a dictionary. So we're going to do uh, key and then value. So key is email and then email text field. I'm going to replace that with self that email text field dot text. Cool. Comma. Um, let's do password. Username. Self dot username dot text field dot text comma. Password. Self dot password. Text field. Sorry. Dot text. Okay, and let's output sign up params. And to uh, have a variable in your NS log, you can just do percent at, and then for example, sign up params. There's all other format specifiers for um, floats and other numbers, but um, percent at is for objects. So okay, now we have submit action. We're gonna initialize a dictionary. We're gonna get all our information from these text fields. So you can see when I mentioned self earlier, that's that's how I'm referencing these fields that are in my own class. Um, in my own class, I mean sign up view controller. So self.email text.field, email, username, we're gonna grab from that text field, password, we're gonna grab from that text field. And then we should see the params. Sign up. Oh, we got a crash. Push shakes can only be managed by an instance of UI view controller. Okay, so um, that brings up a great point. We actually need to have a navigation controller control all of basically um, how we push view controllers and navigate from one view to another. Um, so simple enough, we just click on the splash view we're going to go to editor, embed in a navigation controller. So that adds um, a navigation controller to our project. And as you can see, since I'm doing a push segue, um, that will take that navigation controller onto the next view and manage that view. So let's run it again. And typically what I like to do is actually hide this bar um, on like sign up views and um, I would leave it here but typically I would hide it here and then show it here and I can show you how to do that um, it's pretty pretty easy um, but cool all right sign up there's our view and we actually have the ability to go back um, you can change you can customize colors again you can hide show you can um, add text here um, but let's just really quick let me show you what I'm talking about when um, we hit submit. So username, or this is email, you know, I'll just do my email. And I'm actually going to put this uh, in the notes so you can reach out to me directly anytime. And uh, I'm happy to help you guys uh, with any issues you run into. So um, Seth Mills and sports123. Something stupid like that. All right, um, submit. Okay, so check it out. In that sign up params I outputted, I had these three. And typically that's where um, I would send up that dictionary to Firebase to put in the database on its store. Um, but right now we don't have it doing anything. So let's close that and let's stop there for now. And when you come back, I'm gonna style this up a little better um, so it looks a little nicer and we'll get another view going. Um, and we'll actually um, start working with Firebase a little bit as well. So, see you soon.